Hi, Libra. All right, I'm going to do your reading for August. I don't know why I was going to say August 31st. Um, I'm going <laughs> to do your reading for August. Okay, I hope all is well, and I hope you guys are doing well doing good thank you for the support too okay all right let me pay attention because i'm let's see libra what does libra need to know for the month of august what's going on with libra for the month of august divine messages for libra for the month of august we have ooh, blue moon believe in the impossible blue moons are rare Hmm. You and your loved ones are safe. I swear it seemed like with that card blue and a blue moon, blue moons are rare. It seemed like, yeah, something impossible, like a miracle type of, I can't believe this happened. But you have to believe in it. Hold on, let's see. If I could shuffle the cards to get you out some more cards. Okay, we have communication is key. And the energy is gaining momentum. Waxing moon. Your hard work is paying off at the bottom of the deck. Nothing is yet set in stone. Hmm. Let me get some more Libra. Playtime. It says the dolphins know the importance of playing and as joy create miracles and manifestations. I feel like this is saying keep the eye on the prize, Libra. You you believe in the impossible. Communication is key and with manifestations. Always and then we have the waxing moon about setting intentions. That's what the waxing moon could be about. The waxing moon is about uh either Setting intentions, and that's the way I'm just seeing this one as uh, setting intentions, Libra. Because the energy is gaining momentum. But watch how you speak about your manifestations with communication is key. Speaking it as in, just like they say with the miracles and manifestations, speaking it in a way to where it's always happening. You're only speaking good on the things you truly want. Hold on, let's get some more cards. I'm just getting this message where it's like it's already enough against a situation or just like trying to get life to go the way you want it to. Why be the one to speak down or just like on your manifestations? But let's see what this is all about and have fun in doing so too. lighten up a little bit with this playtime. I always see a Libra's as light death card. Mm. See why you, uh, Knight of Pentacles, Nine of Swords, the Lovers. Hmm. That's why that friendship is under here. Yep. The Knight of Swords. Four of, sword, four of uh, Cups. Six of Swords with the uh, Knight of Pentacles. Mm. The Tower. Some of you guys could definitely be connecting with the Scorpio. Um, Six of Wands. And the Eight of Pentacles. 
Two of Wands, Ace of Wands, Empress. Hmm. I feel like this is about love, Libra. Somebody taking too long to come back and offer something. And it got you kind of like, I don't know, I just get uh, just, just upset with this card. Hoping things would change, but transformation is like a major change. This wouldn't be no overnight change. This is like a complete change of uh, old ways and a begin again, a completely new way. So when you talk about these type of changes, we're not talking about changing your phone number. And I'm, I'm not being... I'm, I, like that but i'm not being like that but like that you know it's not it's not nothing that simple and i feel like that's what took a lot of time but believing impossible i feel like now you've got to a point to where you kind of lost hope about this whole situation are you kind of worried about will this thing fall apart again maybe you guys are connecting are talking again but i'm i don't see it that way i feel like this is two people that separated and you guys have a strong connection and really want something successful we have two sixes here so want things to heart another six too. This is definitely about harmony. Want things to come back in a balanced, harmonized way. But it's taking too long, Libra. And you feel like it's taking too long. You want this person to hurry up and come in and communicate and work on it. Or this could be the other person. Maybe they want things to, to work, to come back in and communicate with you. But it seemed like the process to get into a different place in this relationship. Are you guys going to be together? But the process to get to a different place in this relationship seemed like um, it's been long. And commu with communication is key, a new moon. I feel like this is saying even when this person come back in, because this could be harsh communication sometime, the swords, uh, the knight of swords. And it's like, I don't think that that's what work in this situation. Communication is key. Maybe it's not about like, oh, this happened, that happened in the past and you wrong for that, this and that. I feel like that'll be like turn this situation completely left and won't turn out the way you want it to. However, if this is something to wear, because I'm not seeing anything that to where it was like this heavy betrayal. But I do got the three of cups down here and the king of wands. We know um, that's a very charming individual that most people like. But what I'm, I'm getting from this is this saying that things are building up. The set Keep setting those intentions for what it is you truly want. And then in doing so, make sure that you communicate in a manner to where you get things to where you want it to go and not start working against yourself when it comes to this relationship. Because for things to work, it cannot come be. It can be do it with it, the Knight of Swords, period. The Knight of Swords would be just like that rash, harsh communication. And then <clears throat> this could be like saying moving fast won't work with this situation. Maybe slow, the building up slowly will get this to a better place. will harmonize this whole situation, especially with that sixes, um, with all these sixes. I feel like whatever this is, is saying in order to harmonize it, just allow things to unfold the way that they are. In the meantime, just enjoy life like and believe in the impossible. So where you think that this maybe won't happen, won't come into fruition because of the length of time, maybe you feel like it's been so long that the feelings might not be this mutual anymore or just that it's completely over. Maybe you just worried about it taking so long to where it's completely done and over with. But this is saying believe in the impossible, something this is, you guys have a unique connection. That's where that blue moon uniqueness is about, okay? And I know this won't be for everybody, but I'm talking to a specific group of Libras who know that they have a connection with someone. But there's been a lot of changes, I feel like, in your life and in this person's life. Celebration, look. And then we have fear. But fear almost came out in the reverse, but it's fear. Work and obstacles persevere i feel like this is saying it's been like had to get into this place that you want to be 
has been a lot of work and you had to have, have to persevere a lot but it's saying that uh there will be times of celebration fear have to be let go of though especially when communicating sometimes we communicate harshly when we fear that maybe if we just be honest and vulnerable with these two naked people that um <laughs> I'm sorry, Libra, I got to be goofy every now and then, but just with it, just like, it symbolizes vulnerability, okay? <laughs> Sometimes you got to be vulnerable in order to get things to work itself out and just come at things lighthearted. You don't have to always be the serious talk. Maybe you guys could be serious yet still get your point across in a lighthearted way and forgotten. And I don't feel like this person forgot you. What is forgotten? I just want to see what this is, Libra. Hold on. Hmm. So you feel like this person just done moved on and just forgot about you, possibly found someone new? Is this the truth, Divine, for Libra? The Libras that I was just talking to, is this a truth for them? <laughs> this person wants to come in and reconcile. Yeah. Possibly in a place where um, with these two, I feel like, I feel like this person has been doing a lot of work on themselves. Remember, we have the death card there, Libra. And then we have the emperor and the king of pentacles that could signify a, signify a elevation in in like this person's status who they are becoming okay this person have fond memories of you though with the six of cups and the sun and the ten of pentacles and it seemed like they do want something long term the emperor would be that man to do it maybe this person is kind of like heavily focused on finances could want to like take care of you or that could be like growing up with this ten of pentacles that could be like what he was taught a man should be even if this is sorry you guys because how can i put it sometimes these readings are both ways like even if you're a female that's dealing with another female and that female's masculine or just any way however this go it could be this person could talk that in order to have a relationship because i'm sorry to do the gender thing but it's just a card so it kind of make it like to where you kind of do it anyway but it's just saying that someone that was maybe taught that they have to be a particular like have finances like get things in order in order to have a stable relationship and that's what they go by especially with the ten of pentacles that could have been something that affected you guys in the past Even though they didn't say it. Yeah, maybe this person um, has some fears too. That things wouldn't work out. Because this person probably felt like they had a lot of... Ten of Wands can signify bag baggage. This person could, could have felt like they had a lot of baggage in the past. Like, I can't come towards her with all this because, you know... she, she He or she not going to want to deal with all this. You never know what people are going through because it'd be like some people thinking that it's this, this, that, and that. And it'd be something in that person's head. They they got a whole nother list of reasons why they can't be in a relationship right now. Anything else to buy that Libra should know? And no, this person is not dating anyone. So if you think that this person is and they out having a happy family with somebody else, that's not necessarily the truth of the Libras that this reading is for. It's not for everybody. But if you if this is for you, I feel like you should know it deep down inside. Always stay in tune with your intuition and your soul guidance so you can know when a reading is for you or not. And you won't be watching the reading thinking that it is for you when it's not. OK, so if things didn't end because I'm not seeing no harsh ending here with this read, I'm not. But I, it, I mean, something ended it at this point. Like it, it did, it, and we needed to change in a whole different way. So it may not say that, no, we may not didn't have a drag out fight, but it's something caused you guys to separate, and that's what this is saying. And I feel like it's been a long time too, especially with all the major arcana. 
This person has been kind of looking at ways that they can change and become a better person too. For the ones I'm reading for, this is for somebody who's really been taking a large a scope of their life and everything in the past and how it didn't work. And that this is what's causing the time. And they keep doing this over and over and over again. But it's like they want to get it right is what I'm getting from this message. This is and then it's like once they come to become clear, they take action until then, until they get that enlightenment, then they stay into that mode. You see that t that that King of Swords when I just said once they become clear, they take action. Yep. But this person is clear that they want a new beginning with you. It's just a fact. It's just been a while because um, I feel like you just feel left out in the cold, possibly for a third party. But that's not necessarily the case in this reading. Messages for Libra. Oh, look, infinite abundance is pouring into your life. So believe in the impossible, Libra, because you come into a new cycle. Set the, keep your intention set on exactly what it is you want, because the infinite abundance, abundance to me could be just uh, just overfilled with happiness. Like that's abundant life to me. It don't have, all necessarily have to be money, even though this person feel like they should take care of you. But it's just saying, like, you can have this abundant life, but you have to keep your intention. Waxing uh, moons, well, the waxing, waxing crescent moon. But any waxing moons is about intentions and, and momentum is building up. Things starting to, um, it's like right before the harvest type of energy. This That's what this card is about, okay? distant thunder clear the air with these two i feel like it's saying like when this person come in there will be an opportunity for you guys to clear the air but how you communicate will direct because we could read these cards all day and say love is there and it's coming and you guys go be this ten of cups but how you communicate is all in your hands libra this is saying that this is the opportunity that may be presented to you and it's saying how you communicate defines if this relationship moves up to the next level with that eight of pentacles and it says get ready for new horizons i feel like this is saying try to do something a little different than you may have done in the past so you can get the results or what it is you want especially if this is in regards to love something you truly truly want and you could feel left out in the cold because you guys haven't um reconnected but i'm getting this as in um and you know that this is your happiness i am getting it that way also but I feel like this um, this person is build working on themselves. So that's why they saying believe in the impossible, because maybe you think in this one complete different one way. And this spread is saying, uh, no, Libra, this is this is something completely different. Messages for Libra. It says the flower doesn't uh, dream of the bee. It blossoms and then the bee and then the bees come. Hmm. Find peace in the rain. And don't be like the rest of them. That could be maybe. This could be saying allow things to bloom allow things to happen in its own natural time because it's saying like the flower doesn't dream of the bee it blossoms it attract things to it, the the flower attracts bees to them and that's what this is saying and don't be like the rest of them could be like maybe if you could have a lot of friends around you or people around you saying oh it should be this way that way blah 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 you know how people are but this is saying you don't have to be like them go do what makes you happy go the route that feels best to you and I feel like that's the biggest message here. Find peace in the rain. Even though this is a hard cycle you've been going through, try to uh, find a little playtime in it and enjoy it. Because just because they saying, just because if there is other people around that saying they're supposed to be this, this, this in way, that could be, that's just what the, how they think. That's what they think should happen. That's not how it really have to be. Like you, <laughs> you get what I'm saying, Libra? I hope this helps. Bye.